Hi guys, it's Lunar here, and welcome back to another episode of brand new console mods for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. We have two videos today, there wasn't many mods out, but I wanted to show you guys as many mods as possible, as I haven't made many brand new mod videos recently, and if there's no mods out in the next few weeks or so, I will continue to make top 10s, but I will try and make as many brand new mods as possible. So today there are 10 mods to look through. As always guys, don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy, and check out my Twitter to see my current mods. So let's jump into our first mod. Our first mod is a very simple tweak to the Eye of Magnus. The mod improves the eye by giving it the ability to buff all your magic skills slightly in game. The mod doesn't alter anything else, so if you're looking for an improvement to the Eye of Magnus, then check out this mod. Our next mod is called Immersive Animations, and the mod adds to Skyrim new animations which enhance the overall feel of combat. For new animations, they include one-handed weapons, dual wielding, sprinting, sprinting with weapon drawn, sneak, walking, strafing, leaping slash, and just general weapon and shield animations. These are available for all races, both male and female, so overall a very awesome mod worth checking out if you're looking for some new animations in the game. Our next mod is called Original Vampire Eyes, and the mod makes an alteration to the eyes of vampires. When the Dongar DLC was released, Bethesda decided to make vampire eyes glow like you can see in the video. Well, the mod author has made this mod to revert the changes in vampires, and it works with all vampire races for the player and NPC, so they no longer have glowing eyes. Our next mod is called Red Flame and adds to Skyrim a brand new dungeon for you to explore. The dungeon is located to the east of Volcahar Keep and has the following features to keep you entertained. New weapons and spells to mess around with, a new altar blessing for vampire characters and a new way to become a vampire. New food and cooking recipes for vampire characters, pour a bottle of blood beer at the brewery or make head cheese. New things to read, a new dragon, Easter eggs to find around the dungeon, and in total this mod should add around an hour of extra exploration to your Skyrim gameplay. So a nice mod worth trying out for yourself, and personally I think this place would make an excellent player home as well. So maybe it will be in the future. Our final mod is called Dark Huntress, and it's made by one of my favourite mod authors, Legree. First this new armour has a small piece of lore to go with it. These Dark Huntresses are trained in the Dark Arts. They hunt their prey, stalk them, and if they find the chance, kill them swiftly. No one has ever survived an attack from these Dark Huntresses. They say they are for hire under the Dark Tree. Only women can become these killers, it's a very strict cult. So if you install the mod, you get the following. Dark Huntress Armor, the Dark Huntress Gloves, the Dark Huntress Boots, and the Dark Huntress Blindfold. The mod can easily be crafted at the Forge under the Daedric section, and it's actually around 25% stronger than Daedric, and despite the way it looks, it is considered heavy armor. So it's better than any vanilla armor in the game. You can also enchant and improve the armor at any workbench as well, and overall, it's a cool mod. Well guys, that's about it for this video. It wasn't too long, as there were no really big mods for this video today. The other video out right now is a bit longer. If you enjoyed it though, leave a thumbs up and comment. That really does help me out, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe for more Skyrim and other game news, updates, and guides. But with that being said guys, stay awesome, and I will see you all next time.